Guess we'll start out, Coach. Your thoughts on the game tonight? <clears throat> well, obviously disappointed. Um, always tough when the season comes to a, uh, an abrupt halt. Uh, but I thought our kids battled hard, showed a lot of courage. Um, George Fox is an excellent basketball team, and and we got beat by a better team tonight. Perla, how tough is this? Is, is your last game? Um. Well, I don't know if it's really sunk in yet, um, but I mean, obviously, um, they were a good team tonight, and uh, you know, we just didn't really play, I guess, necessarily the way that we wanted to play. Um, but you know, I have a great team, and I loved every minute of the season. And you know, we gotta look at the positives too, I guess. I mean, that was what four tournament championships in a row and conference championships, so it's not like it was just another season. You know, we did a lot of good things, um, so. You know, I'm I'm happy to have been part of it, and you know, I, yeah, I'm sad to be over, but we did a lot of good things this year. So, Cassie, what was Coach's message in the locker room? Um, just that we need to work hard, play pointer basketball, uh, play team defense, play together, and if we did that, we'd have a shot. Cassie and Brenda, can you guys talk a little bit about their length at like just about every position? and having to deal with that and how that kind of maybe disrupted things you guys wanted to do? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess they kind of seemed to have their, you know, their hands in those passing lanes. And, um, yeah, you're right. I guess, you know, it did kind of throw us off a little bit, you know, making those passes. But, again, you know, we didn't uh, <clears throat> necessarily do our best. You know, we could have got down lower and made better passes uh, away from the defense like we're supposed to. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess it throws it off, throws us off. But again, we didn't quite do exactly what we needed to either. Coach, can you talk about their length? You knew that was going to be a problem. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know if necessarily it was their length that um, hurt us. I, I would say, you know, we just had trouble getting stops. I mean, we gave up 44 points in a paint, and that's just uncharacteristic um, of us. So. Uh, again, you know, it, I think if we were a little bit more solid defensively, uh, we wouldn't have had to work so hard offensively. Um, but they, they have great size. You know, they got some good deflections. I thought we were a little bit tentative trying to run our stuff. Um, but again, you got to give some credit to George Fox. Um, you know, they came in here and, and they battled this home crowd. And they, you know, got got on us early, and, and our kids were really um, competitive and fought back, and we tied it a couple of times. We just couldn't get over the hump, and I and I thought if we could have got over the hump, a crowd would have carried us home, and we just couldn't we just couldn't get over the hump. So, um, you know, you got to tip your hat to them. Uh, you know, they came in here and they did what they needed to do. Speaking of that, Cassie, it seems like when you got to three, it seems like you guys had all the momentum in the world. Did you think you guys were, were going to take it from there? Uh, I really did. I have no doubt in this team, a lot of confidence. Um, I thought we'd we'd eventually get over that hump and get them, but uh, just too many missed free throws. Couldn't get a stop on defense. Every time we get close, they seem to hit a big shot or get a deflection, cause a turnover. Coach, just talk about the tournament, just how you guys had a great season, but it comes down to one game, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, you know, like Britta said earlier, you got to take a look at the whole picture, you know. And uh, we had a great year, and it's tough. Anything else? Guys, thank you very much. All right, we'll start off. Coach, your thoughts on the game tonight? Well, that was a, a great game, and you know I think that um, you know we have a great atmosphere here, and you know I have to credit uh, Wisconsin Stevens Point. There's an outstanding team. Hey, Coach, what was it like just coming on the road here uh, to get a chance to win on the road? You know, I, I think for us, uh, you know, being a young team, we've talked a lot about toughness and improving as the season goes on, and. Uh, you know, I feel really good and confident about the fact that we keep keep maturing as a team, and uh, obviously this was a, a testament to that. I mean, they're they're a, a great team, and to come on the road and, and beat a team like that, I think it we had to play with a lot of maturity, and 
um, you know, I think we played really, really hard and, and played well together too. How much did your start kind of factor into the, the atmosphere of the ball game tonight? You guys kind of came out and really set the tone from the outset of the game. Well, I, you know, I, I think coming in that was a, a goal of ours just to come out strong, and, and that necessarily hasn't been the thing that we've been doing all the time. So I think we did it, you know, Ari hit a big shot to start the game off, and uh, that I think gave us a little confidence. And, and we did a lot better job, especially in the first half, taking care of the ball and valuing each possession. Coach, can you talk a little bit about um, first half you played a lot of zone, I believe almost the whole half, and you came out man to man the second half. Why the change? And philosophy was it something they were doing? You know, I, yeah, I thought they got comfortable with it, and you know, it's something that we've been working on really both all year to to have an option to go man. And um, you know, Britta Peterson is a great player; she did a great job in the high post area, and we were worried about that coming in that she was a kid that could exploit that area. And um, you know, I, I thought she was really starting to do that. You know, the first ten minutes, not not as much, and then she really started to warm up. And um, so we we went in the second half and at least wanted to take a look at that adjustment. Keisha, can you talk? It seemed like every time they made a run at you guys, you guys hit a big shot or or got to got to the rim. Um, can mm -hmm. you just talk a little bit about not kind of faltering when they're making those runs in the crowds? Mm -hmm. um, we really discussed coming into the game that we know that they're good and a solid team, that they're at their home court, um, they have a lot of fans, that they're going to make runs. Okay. So for us, we just had to mentally focus um, on that part and know that when they make a run that we just have to stick with what we're doing um, just to not freak out or anything, but just to stay with what we know how to do. And I think we did a good job of battling back when they did make those uh, good runs. Coach, talk about having a young team like you do, uh, getting as far as you guys did. And just, I guess having the, the youth coming in here, uh, Sweet 16 on the roller, but it didn't really seem like it phased them too much. Well, you know, we, we definitely have some young kids, but we also have uh, some kids that have really high exposure and experience. And we have a, a kid like Keisha that started on the national championship team. And uh, we have three other kids that play a part of our team that, uh, you know, help bring some experience in that area also. Uh, so we're, I think we have a good mix, but we clearly are a young team, and uh, I think you know with the new coaching staff, we're, we're learning how to work together better. Does a game like this kind of help your freshmen grow up a little bit? I, I think it really helps everyone here. I, I think that um, you know it, these juniors know that they can get back to this point again, and um, you know I, I know they have a lot of fight in them, and we all you know we know that Stevens Point was a great team, but we have a really tough game tomorrow also. So. <laughs> We, you know, that's kind of our goal is to not just win one game, but to take one game at a time and, uh, you know, just keep moving forward. Keisha, can you talk, they took, out, took, took down a couple of your conference teams out down in the Pacific Northwest earlier in the year. Um, were you guys able to learn anything from what they did out there, or were you able to scout them at all while they were out there and maybe learn some things that they did against some of your teams you were playing against all season? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we've, we've been able to, you know, have a chance to see them play some as, you know, we, the fact that we played Wisconsin Whitewater too, I'm sure it was the same both ways. So, um, I, you know, I think it was equal, you know, I mean, it was, um, we just knew going in they were a really good team and uh, we knew that we were going to have to play well. And I, I just think that uh, regardless of their runs and being on the home, their home court, our team just stayed within themselves. Uh, and when they made runs, we didn't panic, and we just got back to what we need to do. Uh, you guys are playing for the chance to go to the Final Four tomorrow. You want to just both talk about that opportunity? Um, well, it's exciting for me just because I can remember my freshman year thinking, being the underdogs in basically the same situation with um, having 10 new freshmen um, and not knowing really what we were doing. and. Then we made it to the Final Four, and it's like, whoa, we can do this. And this is a brand new team and completely different, but we have the same capabilities of getting there. And so for me, it's just exciting for a group of young girls to experience it as well because I remember how much I enjoyed it. And it's great um, with our new staff because we love them and appreciate all the hard work that they're doing. So it's exciting for all of us. I, I just think, you know, I. I think this team just loves each other, and the coaches love the team, and uh, you know I hope it's vice versa. But we just want to keep playing. You know, we just want to keep staying together as a team, and um, you know I think we we made a step forward to that tonight. But um, you know we got one really tough game tomorrow, and um, you know we know they're going to bring a really good effort. But we know we're going to go out and compete, and that, and that's really what we ask of each other is that we go on and go out and just give our best effort. Uh, tonight we played with a lot of effort.
Keisha, does this team kind of remind you of the 2009 run a little bit? It does. Um, it really does, just because of the first of the underdog um, statement, um, how no one really thought anything of us my freshman year. And um, coming in, I think we had a lot of obstacles to overcome with um, brand new coaching staff, um, a bunch of new freshmen, and then early on in our conference taking um, two losses, um, which you know it hasn't happened before and so it is similar but it's just kind of a different experience and it's it's just so much I don't know it's really great um, just to see that we've come to this point and to know that we take care of business and do what we're supposed to do that we can um, make it as far too. Any other questions? All right coach. Keisha, thank you.